Hi guys, today's video is actually a requested video and it is all about addition and subtraction. I had three people request this video idea um, because they are struggling to find activity ideas and lesson ideas. So I'm excited to make this for you guys because I really enjoy helping you guys. When I was a first year teacher, I was in the same boat and it was frustrating not being able to find activity ideas for simple subjects like addition and subtraction. So let's get into it. Hi guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha. I am the owner of ActivaTeach. ActivaTeach is all about helping special education teachers with teaching resources, lesson ideas, behavior management, everything special education. So if that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you're notified whenever I make a new YouTube video. Um, also, you can follow me over on Instagram, Facebook, under ActivaTeach. And actually, I'll just link everything down below in the description of this YouTube video. Let's get on to it. I really hope that I help someone with these awesome activity ideas. Your students will love these. I'm actually all about making learning fun. So if you want some fun ideas, keep watching. So as I talked about in my other telling time resource video, I always start my unit planning by figuring out my different levels that I'm going to differentiate by to meet the needs of all of my students. So here with addition and subtraction, here are kind of the guidelines that I follow. So the first level is addition up to five, then we have addition up to 10, then we have subtraction within five, and then subtraction within 10, and subtraction within 20. And here is my son joining us. Okay. Here are my kids. Here's little Asher. And Riker, you wanna come in the video? There he is. It's always hard to keep the kids quiet during the YouTube videos. As you can see, Riker is ready for Valentine's Day. He's got his Valentine's Day hat on. Okay. It's called a Christmas hat. Oh, sorry. It's a Christmas hat. <laughs> it's a Christmas. I mean, it's a Christmas crown. Oh, it's a crown. Uh, I love it. Christmas crown. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry about that. I can't cut the kids out. They're too cute. So <laughs> anyways, all right. So like I said, we have these different levels and I always come up with my activities that I'm going to teach for the first level. And then I create those same activities for all of the other levels so that I'm making sure that I meet the needs of all of my students. But I love social skills and I love having students do the exact same activities. So that is why I lesson plan that way. It's also great because a lot of times our students in special education get left out and have to go sit somewhere else and do their own activities. And I don't like that. You know, if I was a student, I would not like that feeling. So to me, it's very important that I have my students um, doing the same activities just at their own level. So let's get into why you are here. All of the lesson and resource ideas that I'm going to talk about, you can create yourself or else I do have them linked down in the description if you just want to get them really quick and not have to create them yourself. So here is my first activity idea that your students will love. All right, I wanna start off with my students' favorite activities and that is drag and drop activities. You can use these as centers or also as a whole class activity on your smart board. Either way is great. Um, so here, students will drag and drop the answer to the correct place like this and so on. Um, here's another activity. It says solve the math problem and then drag the correct amount of apps to the tablet. Of course, you know, students are like addicted to iPads. So here is a way to include the iPad um, into some learning so you can drag the answer. So it's for drag four apps into the iPad, kind of a fun way to get students um, interests included. So next we have five plus three. So they will choose the correct answer. That's not it. <laughs> Let's do that one. And then they will put the correct amount of apples in the tree. So here are just, just some fun ideas um, that are interactive. Students love interactive things and things that are kind of different too. Those are just a few ideas. And I have the same thing with subtraction linked down below in the description of this YouTube video. Let's move on to the next activity idea. My next activity idea is tic-tac-toe. Um, my students love tic-tac-toe and it's super easy to incorporate all math subjects. So here are the X's and O's. Students will solve the problem, write in their answer, and then they will um, they will add an X or an O. They obviously will be playing with another student, so it incorporates social skills. And um, you can do this digitally too, where students on easel complete this and they will use like the pen tool to draw an X or an O over their math problem. 
super easy to differentiate to also give the same activity tic-tac-toe activity to two students who might be working on subtraction so again I love it when students are able to do the same activity at their own level to meet the needs of everybody so another way to differentiate and do an activity that every student can do is cut and paste activities here we have addition up to five then we have addition up to ten addition up to twenty and then of course you can do subtraction to all of these levels included so you can meet the needs of every student and students even high schoolers love to do cut and paste activities I promise try it out another worksheet idea we have matching worksheets my students really enjoy doing these on the smart board so again um, through easel you can have students draw a line to the correct answer and you can have one student complete the first one you can have another student complete the second it gets your students up and moving out of their chair to make them go up to the smart board you can also mix and match any of these and create a packet or make this a center also. Another addition and subtraction activity idea is of course task cards. Students love task cards and teachers do too because it's easy to differentiate but the thing that is included with these task cards, um, another way to use task cards is to create a scavenger hunt. So what I do, I actually tape these task cards around the classroom. Um, I hide them under students' desks, I hide them in fun places, and students go around and they find the task cards and then they use this recording sheet to record their answers as they're going around doing the scavenger hunt. This is also great for having students do different levels because you can have um, you can tell students, okay, you go find the blue scavenger hunt cards and you go find the red scavenger hunt cards and that way they are doing something at their own level but participating as a whole class too. Another fun game for addition and subtraction is Kaboom. This is actually digital Kaboom where some of you have probably played the version where you cut little slips apart and you put them in a cup. This one is digitally on the computer. So let's get started. Here is what you do. First you will split your students into two groups or three groups, um, I guess teams, and students will come up with a fun team name and then um, each group will pick a number. So say the first group picks number one, well they will have a math problem and then they have to solve it and you will click to see if the students are correct. If they're correct, their team gets a point. If they are incorrect, they don't get a point. Um, same thing for the next team, they might pick number two and they will have to solve the problem. And then if they get a kaboom, you can either have it where they lose all of their points or they just lose their turn. Um, students love this and it gets super competitive. They learn a lot while they're also having fun. The next digital activity that I do with students who are learning addition or subtraction, it is called this or that. So here we go. Students, um, this actually, you can get students up and moving out of their seats. So students will solve the math problem and then they go to that side of the room of the correct answer. Or if you want students to be in their seats, which is kind of boring, but you can have students either hold up a number one if the first answer is correct or a number two if the second answer is correct. But of course, getting the students out of their seats is the best option, I promise. So you'll just continue through the slides and students will go back and forth um, throughout the room and it really is a lot of fun and memorable for students too. All right, I have three more ideas for you. Here we have some picture addition and this worksheet is great for students who need more of a visual or need to actually count out, learn what addition actually is um, and the same thing for subtraction. So I highly recommend these. You can make them into a packet. You can also mix and match these into a packet with your matching worksheet. Then at the end of every single math class, I always make sure to have exit tickets for my students, which is always just a one answer kind of activity where students just complete it and then they're able to leave the classroom. And this is a great way for me to get a little snippet at which students are understanding the concept of addition or subtraction or whatever the subject is and which students are not so that I know where to go with my instruction tomorrow. Here is a new one. This is my last idea and this is a new one that you probably haven't heard of. This is called Asteroid and here are the directions of what you do. So of course you go into present mode and then students will start at their home base which you can make it be their desk, you can make it be a wall on the other side of the room, you can make it your desk, whatever you want their home base to be. Next, um, we'll have a math problem on here and students will solve the math problem. The answer to the math problem is how many steps the students will take away from their desk or their home base. When the word asteroid appears on the computer, students will run back to their desks as fast as they can. Last student to touch their desk or their home base is 
out. This is an awesome way for students to practice their basic math facts while also getting out of their seat and moving and having fun and maybe being a little bit competitive too. So students would solve this math problem. They would take 18 steps away from their desk. This one, they would do the same thing, add it up, and then take that many steps away. Then the word asteroid pops up. They have to run back to their desk, and whoever's there last has to sit out. It gets competitive. Make sure you have a lot of room, and you remind your students not to run into each other or anything like that. But students love this, and I also have um, different levels of this game so that if your students are working on addition only up to five, you can grab that level, or if they're working on addition within 20, they can grab that level, or same thing with subtraction. So I hope that you guys loved these resources. I wish that I would have had these when I was a first year teacher. These are kind of just all of my ideas that I've had um, throughout the years, and I've combined them all into a little video for you guys. Truly, I hope that I'm helping someone out there. If I've helped you, please comment down below, or if you have any other ideas to teach addition and subtraction, comment down below. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. So I forgot to mention that I do have a free addition cut and paste worksheet down below in the description and a couple other free worksheets too um, that you can grab that will be sent to your email address. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please make sure to follow me on Instagram under ActivityTeach and Facebook. I have a Facebook page and I have five different Facebook groups also that you can join. I'll link them all down below in the description. Again, everything you can make yourself or else you can also just grab it down below in the description. That is enough talking. Happy teaching, guys.